righty. So you guys are not going to want to miss yesterday's podcast. I highly suggest watching the podcast, um, which I then teased that I would be talking about something in today's video, which I will in just a sec. Um, front gate is looking great. Leviathan's new welding is looking awesome. I actually like it. I think it enhances the ride's look, especially on such an ugly hammerhead. Personal opinion. Um, no other signs outside of that. Now, I do want to stress that, especially with construction going on over here, you're going to notice that the footage has gone, gotten exceptionally grainy, um, where we normally can see even like orange spray paint on the ground. You're not going to be able to see that in anything that we cover on this side of the mountain, unfortunately, just because the drone is actually a lot farther back than you realize. This is zoomed in to 28 times and then zoomed in on my screen. Um, so we're not going to be able to see any markings, unfortunately, which would have helped us figure some stuff out. Um, but this is better than nothing. Um, so we were able to find like a little park um, in the little townhouse suburbs. And we're flying from there, but it's not the best um, in terms of closeness, unfortunately. But yes, um, outside of that, uh, this is the new launch tunnel. And as you looked around, I wanted you to pay attention um, to a lot of the work going on. So Alpin is receiving a facelift. Um, by some contractors over by Thunder Run. And then over by the tunnel, they're digging out downwards. And if you look really closely, you can see that they're cutting into the cement wall now. Um, so they're removing the actual basement wall. So the decal of the mountain comes down almost like a skirt, and it's covering the actual cement um, formation of the basement of the mountain. So they were cutting into that. Um, so uh, over here at our supposed, in quotations, maintenance tunnel, um, this is where they're uh, essentially just working on reinforcing the existing maintenance tunnel, which is a little confusing in practice. So it is a little weird that they were putting so much work into a maintenance tunnel. Um, but I do want to stress that we have heard um, some pretty trusting birdies that have suggested that the new tunnel is the one that we should be paying attention to and that this was actually just reinforcement work going on. So um, we're not going to rule out this tunnel being used for a roller coaster fully yet, um, but we are going to definitely focus a little more on the other tunnel. It's just so sad because this tunnel, we could actually get some really close-up shots um, filmed from a pond um, and from our uh, pond across the street from Wonderland as well. So two ponds uh, worked in our favor for that spot. Um, I wish I had this close of a shot of the other tunnel, but that is not going to happen. <laughs> uh, with that being said, um, definitely uh, paying attention to Alpin. There is a lot of work that started. Again, Wonderland's uh, construction site office has moved over there. Uh, there's a lot of tradespeople gutting the buildings, the existing buildings there. Um, so I definitely think there's going to be a lot of work there. And then y'all know that from um, the ACE event this year, they confirmed that they were going to upgrade some of the uh, effects inside Thunder Run. So it'll be cool to see what that means. But yeah, essentially that's it. Really exciting news. No matter how you look at it, construction has started. It's funny if this it does end up just being a maintenance tunnel that we watched for the last two, three months. Um, but um, again, they're probably working on it because they're going to be using it a lot more. Um, but with that said, super excited. Definitely go check out yesterday's podcast. Um, and yeah, see you in our next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.